This is what four and a half million gets you in Warrington Crescent in Little Venice. This fabulous house is in one of the best roads in the area and it's got off street parking, which is probably worth its weight in gold. But let's have a look inside because we haven't picked the best day to do this, frankly. So this house is two and a half thousand square feet, uh, so deceptively big. And there's some really stunning features that I can't wait to show you. Little Venice has some pretty illustrious neighbours sitting between Hampstead, St John's Wood, Regent's Park, the home of London Zoo, and some of the most expensive real estate on the planet and Marble Arch in Holland Park. And the world famous Abbey Road recording studio is only a few roads away in Maida Vale. Warwick Avenue Tube Station is within a two minutes walk and you're a five minutes walk away from the wonderful Regent's Canal from which the area derives its name, which forms part of the 200 year old, 127 mile long Grand Union Canal, which still links London to Birmingham. So if we come through, I think this is my favourite room in the house. In fact, it definitely is. Check out these four metre high ceilings. Uh, lovely that it's got this gas fire and oak flooring pretty much throughout the ground floor, which is always a nice feature. If you want to move over here, then you can get a shot of this fabulous gallery area overlooking this wonderful living room. I think next we'll have a look upstairs. Up to the first floor, this gallery area is spectacular, which we'll show you in a second. But there's a lovely bedroom here with a stack of built-in wardrobes and a very nice ensuite shower room. Part of this gallery area has a study. There's big skylights, so the light floods in and lots of storage as well. So a very nice area. And again, you've got the solid oak flooring. We'll have a quick look upstairs, I think. This is the conservatory, a really nice place to hang out, read a book on a winter's day. And it leads straight onto this wonderful roof terrace, which I'll show you. Has got air conditioning here, which is uh, very important on a day like this. It is warm, muggy and raining, so we've got everything. This roof terrace is beautiful. The skylights work really well for the rooms downstairs. Back down to the ground floor, another beautiful bedroom with this luxury bathroom and balcony overlooking the gardens at the back again. There's a, another WC here, which you probably don't need to have a look at. Let's head downstairs. And this is the kitchen. What a beautiful room. I love the units. I love the worktop. It's a really great space, opening onto a small patio at the front and another bedroom suite. Probably weren't expecting that. It's a really nice feature. Anyway, back into this room. This, I guess, is where you're gonna congregate in the evenings. There's a utility room and separate WC here. And just through here, we've got the final bedroom. So that's Four bedrooms in total, four bathrooms, with actually a very nice ensuite. For me, one of the fabulous features of the house are these wonderful communal gardens. So let's go out here and take a look. Very famous locally. These crescent gardens are typical of this Victorian type of architecture. Really nice community that's generated from this. They've got Easter egg hunts, fireworks displays, concerts. Very nice indeed. And here we go. Absolutely stunning. In fact, you can even use this as a running track because uh, I think it's about half a mile round. So uh, a, a very, very nice spot to hang out. Anyway, I hope you like that. Thank you very much for watching. If you did, please hit the subscribe, the alert and the like buttons and follow me on all my social medias at Mark Arrives.